This play is basically like your EastEnders Christmas special. Far From Madden Crowd is about a young woman, Bathsheba Everdeen, who inherits her uncle's farm. And the, the central relationships are between Bathsheba and her suitors. There's Gabriel Oak, who is a, a farmer who she meets before she's inherited the land, and he's with her throughout the whole of the play. And then there is also Sergeant Troy, who's this uh, young, dashing, handsome soldier who definitely catches Bathsheba's eye. And then there's William Boldwood, who is a neighbouring landowner and farmer who, through a misguided trick she plays, falls desperately in love with her and becomes well, a bit obsessed, actually. I read Far From Madding Crowd when I was about 16 and I remember just being so amazed at this incredibly human character. So she's not just this heroic female. I think she has, so, <laughs> she has flaws as well and she makes mistakes and that's what makes her so incredible. She finds herself playing mistress in a man's world and it's her story and how love can either turn us into something good or can turn us into something ugly if it consumes us. People should come and see this play because well, as we know at the moment, making any kind of work is incredibly hard and the school and my team, the cast, everyone has put so much work into this play and I think it's really, really important that we support live art, live theatre, live music at the moment. The story does feel very relevant to today. I mean, they're dealing with emotions of love and loss, which I think everyone has experienced. It is an absolute madness. It's, um, it's just so many different elements. Uh, I'm trying how to explain why you should come and see this. Hang on, what have I got in my bank? It's such a gorgeous story. It's so vibrant. Um, there are twists and turns that you don't see coming. Basically, a lot of great actors in it. <laughs> You have, you know, you've got love affairs, you've got people losing their, all their money, you've got death, it's very funny, it's just a brilliant evening. And it's set in the West Country, <laughs> so Bristol Vic, ideal. So his relationship with her then changes because... That was our actor, uh, Farmer Paul Grass, uh, entering the room there. Theo Spofforth, uh, a real gent. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry.